Hello and welcome to another episode of Kwesi's Corner with me, Kwesi. Today I am with the great Mark Fletcher, right here. And we will talk about the Kentville drums, uh, skin, kangaroo heads, namely. And get into some detail about what they're about, what sounds they make, and Mark's opinion on them. Because my opinion is invalid. Okay guys, so we're here today with uh, Mark Fletcher, uh, legendary jazz and every other kind of style possible drummer. Um, and he's here today with me to talk about the Kentville um, drum heads that have come direct from Australia. Now, we have this one up here and this is actually on this old Ludwig that was talked about in last week's video. Um, this is the, I believe it's the heavy gauge what, version. Yeah, I'm, I can't clear. wait to try the medium one because these sound mm -hmm. great. But if you want, to, if I want to fly on it, it's. I think the medium one would be a bit more sensitive. Okay. This is, they're not very forgiving. They show a lot of flaws in you playing. <laughs> so it's probably good to give me a kick up the ass. But you know what I mean. But they do. It's the sound. They're, they're wonderful feel as well. Indeed. Really. So precious. this is from what I see here. 12, 12 to 14 mil. Is that's it? the heavy gauge. All oh, right, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, the medium is a 10 to 12, which oh. will come soon. Come and then the on. fine would be the 8 to 10. 8 to 10, it's not that many years. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I so, I mean, obviously, you've you've been playing this for a little bit now. Yeah. Um, tell us how long you've been using it and what your experience of this particular head has been in to Great. playing. And I mean, very surprised at the, re the response, uh, mm -hmm. not the response to playing it, but the response I've been getting from it. Oh, that sounds good, you know. And it's, um, I've, I've had it for the last six gigs, uh, over the last uh, week or so, and um, it's it's played great. And it doesn't, it's not like calf heads where they go up and down in tuning. This is, this is it does hold the tuning really well. And it sounds great, tuned low, fat as anything, and it plays up really tight, nice. It, it doesn't choke, yeah. doesn't choke. And the best thing about this head for me is the feel of the brushes on it. It's the softest, it just makes you want to play it. And how important is that to you, the feel of the Oh, it, it means everything. It means everything. I've, I've, I've played so many different makes of heads and all the good ones and all the bad ones. And the brushes are, are very critical uh, mm -hmm. to, to what you use. You know, and, it, and this just makes you, it, 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 it makes a, a, a new drum sound like a vintage drum. I know it's a, it's a big thing to say, but you know, when I put this on, it reminded me of my, uh, my old 40s radio key, mm -hmm. straight away. So it brought back memories as you played it. Oh yeah, it's get, it had that same personality, you know, the same tones. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's on a relatively modern drum, you know, it's only the mm -hmm. 80s. I don't call 80s vintage. <laughs> you don't call 80s vintage. I don't. <laughs> I don't. We have here uh, a bit of an explanation of uh, what this is about and who's running this. So we have a very nice picture here of Mr. Turkington Steel. Or Steel Turkington? Steel Turkington, get it right. Yeah, Steel Turkington. He's yep. here posing with uh, a couple of skins and he explains a bit about the heads. So as we can see here, they've been traditionally handmade uh, using a series of tasks and tools as well as props. Um, they lap their drum heads the same way that they were lapped for the snares of the drummer boys that served in the Battle of Gettysburg and the Napoleonic Wars. Jeez, it's a process steeped in tradition. I don't remember that far back. <laughs> no? Just. <laughs> <laughs> so these have been um, lapped on these heads right here. I mean, these uh, thingamajigs. Well, it's a flesh hoop. It's a flesh hoop. It's a flesh hoop that goes there. Now, modern day drums heads, uh, they, they, it's, it's, they're not crimped, they're glued into like a channel, like a U-shaped channel. Mm -hmm. These, although they're not crimped like old sort of 50s and 60s plastic heads, um, they stay on there and they, it doesn't twist. 
when you get a, a normal like a Remo or, or an Evans or something like that, you can feel it, it, the head can distort like Flexes that. somewhat. This will hold the tune in, and that's why they tune great. This is um, stay good. for those of you who want to know what material this is, this is aluminium. Um, I thought it was kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> I explain why you're, you're so pale. So these, uh, these heads are also used on uh, tambourines oh. and banjos, djembes, frame drums <laughs> and other bits and pieces. So we've initially got it for the snare. Um, they are available um, on toms as well from sizes 8 um, and on bass drums up to size 24. Maybe more, I don't know. We, we have to find out, but we've got the first batch here. The first batch here mm. are 14 inch heavy heads, so you have to come see that. If you've got 13 inch, you've got to hold tight a little bit, and then the other sides, just be patient. You know? So <laughs> That's the spirit. So it, exactly. So they do come with um, one of these. So this is a, um, you know, thingy saver. What are they call it? It's, it's on this, it's a hoop saver for the bass drum. A hoop pedal saver for the bass drum. I don't know what that's going to do. So that comes with us. That comes with the snare. So it's a nod gift to give on top of things, but you know it's a great one nonetheless. So if you want a hoop saver that's made of kangaroo, then this is the Skippy. one to do. Skippy. And also they have uh, bass drum pads that are made uh, specifically for bass drums, <laughs> obviously. And uh, these, these are available separately as well in store. So, all in all, um, I've been personally very impressed. I tried it out uh, last week. I think I demoed it on um, Mark's uh, 400. Yes, that's the way I tried it. Yeah, I tried it on it. And it yeah. sounded absolutely, all I did was I crank it up just a little bit. And I was surprised at how much it could hold up because I've tried out a couple of. Um, well, a lot of carpets I've used, have, 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 they've broken me straight away, halfway through the first tune of a gig. This has just done six gigs and it's, it's lasted. I mean, that doesn't sound very long, well, but for me... I've seen you, I've seen you hit hard. Yeah, <laughs> and I've put holes through things, and this is still as, as good as it, when I put it on. And it's, and it's getting better. It's a head that's improving because it's organic, you know. Other, just so you know, yeah. other sizes can be created on, a, on request. It does say so in their, in their pamphlet, and we have been good. so um, blown away by the tones that have been created. Oh, I'm knocked out by, by it. I'm, you know, I mean, I've, I've tried a lot of new products, but this is mm -hmm. this has taken me, my attention, really, really. Indeed. And everybody I've played with it, you know, who, who've been next to me on stage, goes, "God, that sounds really good." And all that, it feels great. Though. So none drummers have noticed. Yeah, the change. all the guys in the band. I mean, a couple of gigs I did last week with my band, and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, they, and you know, and they go, "What is that?" You know. Because oh, it sounds different, and it's but it's, it's not. It, it will show up a lot of flaws in your playing. <laughs> it will. Uh oh. As you as you found out earlier. Yeah. <laughs> so many flaws. <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 personally sold on them. They um they're not cheap by by usual standards, but I would consider them an investment. Um, if you if you're getting this head, you're investing in a particular sound, and obviously a head that's going to last you for a very very long time. Well, I'd rather get one of these than five regular heads. There you go. I would because the, the pleasure of playing it for a start mm. and the sound, the end result. I'd rather get this one of these instead of five, just normal single ply heads. I've got a vintage style snare that's been made for me at the moment, and. I think I'm going to smack this on it. <laughs> smack it on it. I'm That's a lovely turn. I'm going to smack it What's on it. What's a turn of phrase? Crank that thing up. You write all the Queen's speeches, in. don't you? All of them. Well, every woman. She trusts me. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'd like to say a big thank you to uh, Martin Oldham, who made this possible yes. um, through his company, um, DTS. So that's Drum Tech Support. He uh, runs Drum Tech Support. Drum Tech Support is an organization which provides services, or drum tech services, and a whole load of other services um, to uh, drummers and Eastern organizations alike. Western <laughs> services. Exactly. What for gut? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, through his company, actually, Kentville Drums, um, skins are distributed. So once again, thanks um, so much, uh, Martin Oldham, for bringing this to the UK and uh, putting this in the shop. For all of you who are interested in this head, um, it is available on our website. Obviously, um, if you ask nicely, we will show you what it sounds like on a Ludwig 400. 
um, that is the snare that's on in the shop. Not this one. This is this is this guy's. But um, they sound absolutely amazing. So I would suggest that if you really want it, come in and have a listen. They are well worth. Thanks for watching. Um, please like, subscribe. Let us know what you think about this head. Is this head the kind of head that you would consider getting? No. no. Or is it the type of head that you would pass on and go for another head? Please let us know in the description below and we will see you next week. Take care.